Hi, everybody. It's John Howell and John Dempsey. This is our final golf little podcast uh, for the season because the weather's changing. And I thought instead of uh, spending more time watching the confirmation hearings, we'll take a break and talk about some golf courses that we enjoy. I'll start. I recommend Deer Path and Lake Forest right off Highway 41. Easy to get to, reasonably priced, uh, medium grade course with uh, great amenities, terrific food, by the way. So Deer Path and Lake Forest, my first recommendation, Mr. Dempsey. Well, I have to tell you, there's a hidden gem that I just found, and it is in the far western suburb of St. Charles, and it's called Potawatomi Golf Course. It is just north of Potawatomi Park, which is a gorgeous, beautiful park right on the Fox River in St. Charles. And this golf course is nine holes just north of Potawatomi Park. It's very inexpensive. Like I said, it's nine holes. But it does have, uh, it's, I think it's a par 35, so it's not just a par 3 course. And Don, I think at least four of the nine holes, Fox River comes into play. One of them has an island green. It's a par 4 where if, if you hit a good drive, then your next shot has to go over the water onto this island green. And I have been playing golf now for about 15 years, and I have never heard of this course i just discovered it by accident and it's fantastic it's called the potawatomi golf course run by the st charles park district in st charles right on the fox river are you sure it's not cultural misappropriation for two guys of our ethnicity to play the potawatomi i don't think it is i don't think it okay. is uh obviously this is a big topic now with uh america i'm sure it's okay you i'm can't sorry be too careful. all right oh, my second recommendation, recommendation. My second recommendation is uh, just up the road from Lake Forest. It's Lake Bluff Golf Course. Very uh, inexpensive again. Uh, the greens are undulating and they're, they're challenging greens. And very few people are playing Lake Bluff this season. So before the weather changes, I would get out there and try Lake Bluff. John Dempsey, your next recommendation. Well, I, I will recommend another uh, golf course in the western suburbs. And I hope you don't accuse me again of uh, cultural appropriation because this is called Arrowhead and it is in Wheaton. It's run by the Wheaton Park District. It's on uh, Butterfield Road, just west of Naperville Road. It's a spectacular golf course. It's basically three nine holes. So you go there and you play 18 and I think they pick which two of the three nines you play. But there's water, there's undulating greens, there's trees that come into play. It's very well manicured and in great shape. Arrowhead Golf Course on Butterfield Road in Wheaton. Fantastic. Terrific. Now, if I play all 27 holes, I can just get, get the best 18-hole composite. Yes, and play yes. That. you just take your top, your best 18 scores, right. and you just like do those on your scorecard. That's what you do. Terrific. Right. Right. John, thank you for participating in this. Thank I you. have a parting gift for you, your oh, choice. Really? Oh, Really? I have here for you a signed copy of the original Uncle Lair, Little Tommy oh, wow. uh, Animal Stories album, if on you want vinyl, that. On vinyl, yeah. On vinyl, of course. Old school, John. Yeah. I have here, signed by Clark Weber, a WLS uh, Silver Dollar Survey album from oh, many years gosh. ago. Wow. You can choose between those two or perhaps not signed by anybody, this picture of Jackie Gleason and Arnold Palmer playing golf. Wow. Where did you get that? You're giving, are you, so you're giving me all three of these things? No, 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 no. You, listen, listen. I'm giving you your choice of one of those gifts as a gift for being on the podcast. Thank you. You don't have to answer now. Tell me on the air. I will think about it. I'm honored. I'm touched. And I will think about it. All I can do is be filled with gratitude for your generosity. Thank you, John. Well, thank you, John. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Next week, another podcast, probably not on our favorite golf courses.